as opening up a whole entire country, continent, and everything else, man. So very, very excited to be in uh, business with him, man. One of the greatest uh, people I've ever met in my life. And, you know, I've been to his uh, incredibly beautiful home up in Vermont. This guy is so su uh, super successful, even outside of this business, but just a, a, a strong, very successful businessman in life. He don't need this business at all. Let's make it clear. He's here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to change people's lives. So with further ado, I'm going to introduce my man, my partner, my great friend, uh, Mr. Dale Franklin. Dale, are you ready to take over? I'm ready, Chris. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you loud and clear, man. It's good. It's good you're not sounding like Mickey Mouse tonight. There's uh, For those who haven't been on here before, uh, once in a great while, my computer picks things up a weird way, and I come on and I sound just like Mickey Mouse. So that's why I always get a voice check when I know I'm going to speak. Um, guys, uh, if, if you haven't got them in front of you right now, tonight, I'm, I'm, so, I'm bursting. I'm bursting with excitement tonight. You know, and, and if anybody who knows me knows that I'm not, that's not, that's not me. I'm kind of reserved. I'm kind of old school Vermonter, but I am fired up tonight. And the first thing I'd like you all to do, if you don't have paper and pencil or paper and pen, please get it. Okay. Because I'm going to give you some specific instructions tonight. All right, I see everybody's got it. Great. I'm going to give you some specific uh, uh, things to do tonight that are going to explode your business if you choose to use them. Okay. Um, now I, I'm going to tell you. Start off. I start. I a week, ten days ago, I I headed off on vacation. Um, I was burnt out. I was tired. I've been. I put a lot into my other businesses. I put a lot into this business, and I was drained. You know. And the great thing about this business and, 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 and everything else I've done in my life, I could afford to have nice vacations. So we went down, we, we rented a, a, a house that slept 18. I was able to sit there and look out over the ocean and get myself recharged. The ocean recharges me like nothing else. And so I come to, you see me today after being a week at the beach, I am back, I am fired up, I am energized and I'm ready to kick some ass, okay? <laughs> so. Here, here, here's where we're going to go tonight. Now, we have, I have invested in a company that's going to help you grow internationally, okay? And what this company, I'm going to, I'm going to jump, jump around a little bit, so bear with me, but this company is called Spiffio. If you go online, it's spf.io, and it explains itself as an all-in-one translation and accessibility software for events and, pre and prepared content, okay? What that means is we're gonna be able to create translations for our, for our recorded presentations and for some of our live, live presentations in any language we want and have it so that when people are listening to us, they're gonna see a scroll at the bottom that's gonna be in their language, okay? This is gonna change things for us, guys. I was talking to... Um, Apollo, uh, one of my leaders in, in, in East Africa, and we were talking about the fact that we're doing this right now in Swahili. He said, do you know there's 200 million Africans that speak predominantly Swahili and no one else in the world in network marketing is addressing this population, okay? So it's gonna, it's gonna give us, we're gonna be first to market with a lot of stuff, okay? So, and before I get going too much further, I just want to emphasize the fact of what Lenin and Chris just said. Um, by us bringing our overall team together, we're, we, we're bringing Lennon's team to Chris, with Chris's team, with Adrian's team in South Africa, with Phil and my team, and, and, and all of East Africa. We're all going to be one big family, okay? And by doing that, the power of having a family that big, you know, I come from a big family, and I know if I run into trouble, I, one time I broke down 150 miles away from home, I called an uncle. He drove 100 miles to come down and help me at two o'clock in the morning, okay, and, and help me get home. And I, I knew I could do that with him because he knew he could do it with me. And that's the same way when you're building a family like this. That's what we are, a tight family. I have, I have people in 62 countries, and I'm confident in every one of those countries, if I got into a bind, there's somebody there that I could call who would come and help me out. And that's what this business to me is all about. Yes, we're in it to make money, and we're going to make money. But it's also about building the connections. So keep that in mind when I'm talking about what I'm talking tonight, because so much of this is about building friends, building a family around the world. 
there are people you're going to meet if you do what we what I train. You, there's going to be people you're going to meet over the next 30, 60, 90 days that you will be your friends for the rest of your life from all over the world. Okay, dear friends, family, you know, those long lost uncles and aunts that you never thought you'd have type of thing. So, guys, here, here's what we're going to start with tonight. So, again, I, I just can't emphasize enough. We are family and we're ready to go. Now, I'm going to. Do you have me set up so I can share the screen, Chris? Yes, sir. Yep. You, 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 you're, you're set up as the host. So you can okay, great. You I'm going to take you here. And first of all, before I tell you a lot about what we're doing, I'm going to show you. Now, this is a, a, a website that was created by, by one of my, my partners, Barb Dezettis, for me. And she did it upright. Um, you know, dalefranklin.net. And that's what you're going to want to go to when you're when you're getting the information I'm giving you, um, and all the information I put in this. All you have to do is go to the DaleFranklin.net, and it'll take you to this website. And as you can see, we even have logos and everything. We're providing opportunity to shaping legacy. Uh, they even made a logo out of, out of an old picture of me. This is a picture of me at my son's wedding. Uh, I, it was a real hot day, and I think I'd had a few to drink. So, but they said that. That was me, so that's how I became, that became my logo. But again, the reason I want you to go here has nothing to do with that. What I want you to do is you, if you come to dalefranklin.net and you go over here to connections, okay? Now, everything that, everything that uh, Chris does as far as how to, telling people on, on each week how to get into Telegram and WhatsApp and all that, if you, if you have people that just say they aren't that tech savvy and they, and I'm not, but uh, if, you're, if they're not that tech savvy, make it easy for them. Send them my connections and they can go in there and they can click on this and they can, they can uh, 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 get Telegram uh, brought down to them. Uh, same thing here with WhatsApp. They can have that loaded. Whatever they want is here. If they want to go on and check out uh, the Win Network, it's right there. Win Testimonials, Team We. Um, if they want to go to, to a My Daily Choices uh, corporate Facebook page, it's right there. So I'm just telling you this so you have another way to easily send people to stuff. Um, Chris does a great job with this, but and, and, and you really don't need this, but I just wanted to let you know it's here since we're here anyway. But what I want you to do from here is I want you to go down and I want you to subscribe on YouTube. Click that button. And this is when we're going to get into some cool stuff. Okay. This is my library of all my Mondays with Dale. And you can see there's uh, there's there's been trainings with with uh, Lennon. There's been trainings with Chris. There's been uh, Adrian Peterson. You name it. There's all kinds of people here. But the thing we're going to going to really focus on tonight is uh, you've all seen this. This is Chris's uh, opportunity presentation uh, that he that he created a new one from June. And we're going to click on that. And I'm going to shut it down for a second here. Okay. This is what we do in America. This is what we do in the United States. This is what we do for people who speak English. But what about the rest of the world? Well, by using this Spiffio, this is what we can do. And I want to bring you on here so you can see how it's done. That you can, you can download this and, and, uh, or go, go on my, my dalefranklin.net and grab it. Or you, can, or you can download it. You can pull it off YouTube, whatever you want to do. But if you look down here, it shows uh, basically the one that we've created here shows closed caption, okay, CC's closed caption. If you click on that, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna bring up, now this one here, I believe is, is Ukrainian. What we, what I, this company that I've, that I've uh, started working with, what they do, and let me give you the procedure real quick. Um, basically, I have Jody Levanway. You, you guys know Jody, because she's the one that always gives you the updates every day on what's happening for the day. Well, Jody's one of my one of my affiliates, one of my associates, and she, I have her. She goes in, and when when Chris did this presentation, she went into that presentation, and she, uh, uh, basically, what's the word they use? Uh, transcribe. She transcribed everything that he said. If there were, and and uh, this is great for guys like me to do a lot of umming and ands and all this kind of stuff. She just gets gets rid of all the little stuff, you know. Um, if there's any any uh translation problems as far as uh, maybe they didn't pick up a certain word right or something like that, she'll fix it. But so she gets it all tr transcribed and then she sends it to another one of my associates who helps me on my social media, uh, Barb Zetis. 
Barb meets with Spipio and they, they, uh, they basically, uh, she, she tells them what language was, languages we want to be using. And they, they, uh, they, they set us up these, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these lines here. I, there's a word and I, here I am forgetting it already. But basically the, the, the what you see on the screen uh, below there that uh, they create those. Now, if you can go to settings, which is that little, little wheel type thing, and you see where it says subtitles. Okay, that one's in Russian, but we can do it. We've got it set up right now in Spanish. We've got it set up in Swahili. And look what happens when we turn Chris on. And I truly believe it's the best. It's going to, everything he's doing is going to be, be showed in Swahili. Okay. Now, why is this important? This is important because Number one, our company is growing all over the world. And when they open a new country, the ones that do the best are the ones that are the first ones there. And not necessarily the first ones there, but the first ones there that are organized, are prepared, okay? So if we can take and know, you know, like we know, we know right now that Russia is going to be opening in about 60 days. So that's why we have Russia already there. We know that we're building in South America, so we've got Spanish. You know, eventually we're going to be working in, in Asia, all over Asia, and we'll have a lot of a Asian languages and stuff like that. We can be ahead of the curve, okay, so that um, when we reach out to people, um, they're going to feel much more comfortable if they, if they see something that they understand in their own language. Now, what we're, what we're going to do here is... Um, let me pull up my next thing here. Okay, the first thing is we can start off with a, something like this, an opportunity presentation, okay? And what we're gonna do here is kind of do it in phases. The first phase is we have Chris Bailey speaking in English. And because of that, you're getting the, even though they can't understand him, some of these people in their languages, they can feel his passion. They can feel his excitement. They can feel his, his, his realness, if nothing, if nothing else. And so he's speaking, and they're going to be able to see the, what, he, what he's saying will be uh, on, on the bottom of the, of the screen, okay? So um, he'll, he'll be able to, we'll, they'll be able to understand. That's phase one um, with the subtitles. That was the word I was trying to remember, and I forgot. Okay, so again, we have the subtitles. Um, and that'll be in their language. Now, what's gonna be eventually gonna happen, and we're working on this right now, is, you know, in our back office, we have a lot of these things in slideshows, in opportunity slideshows in other languages. We already have one for say Ukraine, okay? So what we're working on right now is they're gonna be able to see, they're gonna hear Chris speaking in English. They're going to see the slideshow in Ukrainian, and they're going to see the subtitles running at the bottom telling you exactly what Chris is saying in Ukrainian, okay? Do you know what the power that's going to be like? I mean, you're going to take people, it's, it's the same with us. I mean, if you're watching a foreign movie with English subtitles, uh, unless it's a really good movie, it's pretty easy to just kind of lose, just kind of glaze over, not pay attention. But when you've got um, all the information on the screen is in your language and the what he's saying is being translated in, in your language, it's going to be a huge difference. And when you get into countries that no one else is doing this, such as most of the African continent with the Swahili or Afrikaans, nobody else in the world is doing this, guys. This is going to put us so far ahead of the curve. I mean, I, I'm I, I got my hands are shaking. I'm so excited about this because in business, you always look for that thing, that one thing that gives you an advantage over other people. And this is our advantage. Now, now let's be realistic. There are big leaders in, in uh, network marketing, it's big leaders in our company, that when you know, somebody reaches out to the corporate office and, and they're, uh, maybe they're a network marketing another, marketer in another company and they're deciding they wanna move, okay? Um, or, or, or somebody reaches out from a country we're not already in and, and tells corporate they're, that they want us to do something there and they're willing to invest and get things rolling. You know, 
our corporation, the corporate, just like other co corporations uh, in this network marketing field, are going to look out at their leaders and they're going to disperse them to their, their best leaders. Um, it might not be us. It might be somebody else. But the thing is, once we prove to our corporate leadership that we are so far ahead of the curve, who do you think is going to get some of that? OK, so we have to we're not only showing the world that we are are good at this business and we're not only showing the world that we have some of the best leaders and best trainers in the in the business, but we're also trying to show corporate that they should rely on us whenever possible, because we're going to say we're going to we're not only going to give those people incredible training, but that we're going to we're going to encompass them into a culture that's going to keep them around and keep them excited. So. So anyway, that's that, that's phase two is, is have all that. And, and that's what we're working on on the on this opportunity presentation. The one that's on here right now uh, is is uh, is pretty well ready. So if you guys want to start using this right now and use any of the subtitles here in Russian, Spanish, Swahili, Ukrainian, or just leave it in English, they are they're there for you. We'll be adding more as time goes on. OK, and you can start with those. Now, will, will we, in, over time, will we find that there's, a, on some of these, there might be a, a, a few words that got translated wrong? Probably. And uh, we've already had that. Uh, uh, we, I, mean, I just did a training video on back office. And when I got to talking about credit wallet, it sounded, the translation they use in Swahili made it look like it was a loan rather than a, a, a credit wallet. So we had to change the wording to change that. So, Will there be some occasionally some uh, misunderstandings? Yes, but if you wait until everything is perfect, you're always waiting. So go ahead and use this. If somebody, if you're showing it to somebody and somebody says questions a certain thing and tells you that oh that's not what that really means or whatever, um, let us know. We can correct it on the fly that day, okay? And just put it in the in. Oh, we'll always update this one, so this one will always be up to date. So again, use this as soon as possible. And use it. And if you have, if you have a country we're already in that you have people that you think would be real interested in a language that we don't have here, tell me. It's um, I pay a certain. I paid a. I paid uh, several thousand dollars to get hooked up with this company, and that gives me a certain amount of time every month. If I don't use it, I lose it. And if we need to, if I need to spend more money to have more time than that, I'm perfectly willing to do that. So you have somebody in your team who's willing to spend the money to do this so you can all take advantage of it. So take advantage of it. Um, as I said, we're, we had created the back office training that one of the ones I've done recently. And uh, uh, that one will be, there was a couple of mistakes on that we're fixing. Vibe's on vacation right now, waiting for her to get back. But we should have that out in about a week. So that's gonna be a full 45 minute back office training, tells you all about, tells every, all your new people exactly what's going on in the back office, gets them prepared so they know where stuff is so that, from going forward from then on, they could run this business anywhere in the world, even if suddenly we, they didn't have us, but they're gonna always have us to help build. So again, we're trying to create this safety net that we don't lose people. People do not fall through this net and we don't lose people because of lack of communication. Um, eventually, we're gonna have live events on this. We're eventually gonna be able to do our super Saturdays and have somebody that's gonna be sitting there transposing and and, and sending it out in, 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 a, in a different language uh, while we're talking. We can also do many more things. If, if you guys have a scripted uh, a, a, a call that you're gonna do that you pretty well know what you're gonna say, uh, we can script it beforehand so that, uh, that uh, as you're speaking, it might not be word for word what you're saying, but it'll be close enough so that they'll, know, they'll get the gist of what they're doing. But it'll look, as far as they're concerned, they're being talked to in their language and in real time. So again, these are all things that I, I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am, because if you want to build internationally, this is what is going to take us way above and beyond anything you've seen so far. Um, uh, a few things, like I said, uh, we, we, can, we can build all over Africa, most all over Africa in, Swa in Swahili right now. In the, um, I'm working with uh, Apollo and, uh, in Uganda and the DRC. The DRC is both French uh, speaking and, and Swahili. Uh, Tanzania is, is primarily Swahili. There's so many places that we have 
been building in, but we've been so limited because of the language barrier. And this is going to help us say that when Apollo told some net, uh, network marketing friends of his that are in other network marketing companies, what we are doing here and, and going to have it in Swahili, they, he said, one guy almost did a backflip. He said, nobody else is doing this. He says, if this is, was, if this is what you guys are going to be doing with the comp plan you've got and everything you guys got going for you with your fast growth and all that, he said, this is going to be off the chain. It's going to be, it's going to be incredible. And, and, they, and they say, as soon as they have it, these are guys that are already network marketers and other companies. And, they, and this is what's going to bring them over to our team. Okay. So again, uh, I'm super excited about this. Um, the, as I said earlier, we can, when we use this, we can be first, first team to market. And I hope you understand how valuable that is because first team to market gets, gets uh, a chance to talk to network marketers that, that, uh, who, who are looking for a new home. And let me, and let there be no doubt during the pandemic, a tremendous amount of network marketing companies died. People that had been in business with certain companies for years uh, and, and making commissions, uh, the commissions stopped getting paid. You can ask our own Chris Bailey. He went through that with one company. Um, when those companies start to fail or start to uh, show weakness, the, 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 ships wanna, the, the rats want to leave the ship. They wanna, they're trying to find a new place to go. And, and when they hear about what we have to offer, uh, they're going to want to be with us. And once we get them in with this, and then they see the training that we offer, the, the leadership we offer, everything that we have, um, it's going to be, uh, it's game over, guys. I mean, once they come to us, I've had more people that have, have, have spoken to me in just the last month and a half, two months, that tell me horror stories about, you know, uh, corporate, corporate offices that promise them the world, and then they, they don't hear another word from them, nobody returns their calls, nobody returns their emails. And we don't, I mean, we are, our, our customer service, both from corporate and from our teams is impeccable. I mean, when I tell them what we do for our, our, our teams, they, they flip out. They can't believe that um, there's a company out there doing this kind of stuff. They can't believe there's teams out there that are still acting as professional. And the difference is that not all of us are in it just for the money, okay? And the average person can, under, can see a consumer can always tell if they're being sold strictly for money. If you got a guy that's trying to sell you a car and he, he needs that commission and he's really, really hung, hungry, you can, say, you can tell he's, he's more concerned about selling you a car rather than your car, okay? And we have proven over and over again that we are a, a company that cares about doing the right thing. So um, something here I, I wrote here, most network marketers are not business people. They don't invest. We are, and you get to use it, okay? That's not, not saying anything bad about network marketers. I'm just saying that most network marketers aren't business people. And so they, they have an employee mentality. And, they, and because of that, they're always thinking about how they can make more money, make more money, but they never think about how they, should, how they could invest money. Well, some of us leaders have, have, have been willing to do that kind of stuff, you know, uh, uh, we, we, uh, some of us um, pay for an office in a, in, a, in a country that hasn't, the corporate office hasn't done that with yet. We, uh, we uh, do something like this here, this translation. We're willing and more happy to do it, more willing to put money in because we know it's going to help our teams grow. And if our teams grow, we're going to, it's going to, we're going to benefit in the long run. Um, so having said all that, okay, I've told you about the tool we have. And, I, and I've told you about how, uh, how we can, how the different ways we can use it. But um, how do we get started? How do you get started? Okay. The first thing you need is you need somebody from another country that we're already in. And I want to emphasize that we're already in. I, I've helped open several countries and it's, it's benefited me. But let me tell you, it's a lot of work. And having one, and if, you're, if we're in a country where, where we can't, we can't ship product. You no, know, Vegas, Vegas has, can tell you a story about a guy he signed in one of the countries in Africa and uh, the guy bought a, a big kit and it, it, it's taken months and months and months to get him to get. Not because our company isn't trying, it's just there's so many government things that hold things up, so many uh, 
postal laws between all the different countries that hold things up. So again, we want to stick with co countries that we're already in, or we're, or the company, the company itself is starting to open. Okay. So if you have, let's, let's, I'm going to use for everything I'm talking about now, I'm going to use Ukraine as an example. Um, in this day and age, you know, they talk about six, six degrees of separation. And I've heard recently that with Facebook and all that, it's more like two or three degrees of separation. If you, you either know somebody from the Ukraine or you know somebody who knows somebody from the Ukraine. Okay. So if that's the case, then reach out to them and tell, and tell them about what, what we're doing. Now, if they're people, you know, that only speak Ukrainian, we can, we can work with what I just ta talked about. If there are people that speak English, that's so much the better because now you got somebody that may be living in Ukraine who speaks English and they can be your kind of focal person to help build, build throughout, throughout your team there. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Now, I want to, you all, always heard us talking about tap rooting, okay? If you had one friend in Ukraine or knew one person who knew somebody in Ukraine and you showed them what we had to offer and they weren't interested, I'll tell you most, especially Eastern Europeans, if you look at their friends list, they have four or 5,000 friends. Start tap rooting them. If they say they're not interested, you know, don't, don't do it beforehand, but if you talk to them and they say they're not interested, go into their, into their page, go to their friends section, look through them and look for keywords. Cause a, a lot of, a lot of uh, people around the world, when they, they describe themselves, they may say uh, business owner, uh, entrepreneur, uh, someone who's saying network marketer or a, a expansion leader or something like that. Um, when you see those things, those are key words. Those should, should just click. F try to friend them. You know, you're gonna you're gonna friend a few people, and some are gonna friend you. Some of them are. But if you if you do that, each if you take somebody that said no, and they've got four thousand friends, I'll guarantee you some of those friends are gonna be interested. Now, if some of those friends say they're interested, what's the next thing you do? Go back to that person you knew and tell them you've already talked to several of their friends who want to get in this business and say, I'm going to sign them up, but I'd rather sign, let you sign them up and give them one last chance. OK, that that way, uh, that way, that's a fair way. And it's also the best way to bring somebody on who's on the fence. So, again, taproot that way. Number two, immigration, uh, immigrants in the U.S. or immigrants wherever you are. I don't care where you are. but if you go, go on Facebook, again, on Ukraine, I went, on, I went on Facebook and looked for Ukrainians in the United States. Guess what? There's a group of that, called that. Ukrainians in North America, there's a group called that. One of them had 17,000 members. One had 4,400 members. Um, you can do the same thing. I, I, I went to Russians in, Russians in Boston, Russians in New York City, okay? There's, there's all kinds of groups, okay? So... What you basically do is the same thing. Get in, either join the, join the groups and just start building relationships, okay? Guys, this is a relationship business. You gotta remember that. Two things to be, you gotta remember is relationship business and be patient, okay? If you are building from people you don't know like that, you can't start it off by throwing a business at them. You gotta build a relationship. Say hi. Talk to them like you would talk to anybody you met on a, on a street corner or whatever. Um, uh, sit, maybe you're sitting in a bar having a drink and somebody's sitting next to you. you know, we've all done that. And you get chatting and, and, and get to know them. Ask about their family, their kids, uh, what, you know, uh, the, the area they live in, their culture, whatever. Start building that trust, okay? And if you do that over several calls, several uh, messages, whatever, you build a relationship. And eventually, they're going to ask you more about yourself and want to know what you do. And then that's an opening for you to tell them what you're doing and then, and then go from there. But it's so much more powerful when they ask you what you do than you just throwing at them what you want them to do for you. Okay? <laughs> Does that make sense? So, um, uh, again, uh, if, if, they, if, they are, if they are interested, you, it's great. If they're not, then, then you can tap root with them. Uh, and uh, some of the other key words that I, I talked about, uh, self-employed, MLM, network, networking, uh, uh, expansion leader, uh, 
all kinds of things like that. Um, the other thing you could do if you are feeling, if you're feel, if you're having one of those days when you just want to, you're you're impatient and you want to do something, pick out a bunch of them. Now these are this is a this is a gamble. This is a crapshoot. But I have on occasion just written to them and said, "Hey, I saw you are uh, uh, you own your own business, or I see you are a, a networker or whatever. Are you interested in an additional income stream?" Okay. Um, and, and I usually I usually put if you aren't no biggie, but I, I am I am expand I am expanding my team and I, I'm just looking for a, a few few new leaders. That's all you have to say. So it, it's taking the pressure off them. But again, if this business is about building friendships, and building relationships, but every once in a while I just take a day and I'll say, you know, I'm just going to pick 20 people and I'm going to I'm just going to let them all know that I'm hey this is what I'm doing. So that's two different ways you can do that that group. Um, and I tell them, you are looking for, I'm looking for a few strong prospects for yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's a, a note I left myself. When you're, let them know that if they come on, you are really looking for, and I'm going to explain this in just a minute. You're looking for three to five people that you can build with. And then anything else that you find, put under them. Tell them you're going to put it under them. Tell them that you're going to help build them. You're going to help make them wealthy. My job in this business is not to make me wealthy. It's to make three to five other people in the world wealthy. And that'll make me wealthy too. Okay. So again, you always want to remember that. Think about yourself last. Think about your team first. Um, you can also, number three, you can also advertise. I do a lot of that with Facebook, small budgets, you know, 10, 12, $15 a day. Uh, you can even do less than that. Um, here's a, here's a, a little ad that I just put together. Um, new to Ukraine, one of the world's fastest growing companies, minimum $300 investment required. Be one of the first in your country. That was it. You know, just, just enough to pique their interest. Uh, it's enough to keep, keep under the, 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 the oversight of Facebook so they don't come down hard on you. <laughs> and, but it gets, it gets, it gets the word out. And from that one ad, I've gotten about uh, 250, I think, people reach out. Now, a lot of them are just tire kickers, you know, but you, you do get those people. Uh, I've, I've already picked up four people that are, that are all bi bilingual. And those people, are if, when they come on, are going to become my, my centerpieces because I'm going to be able to speak to them in English and use them as a translator for translating them the rest of the team. And I'm going to help them, help them grow. Um, once again... Um, if you got people that come on like that and they don't uh, and they're not interested afterwards and they got a big, big group under them, tap root. Keep remembering that tap root. You're, you, you, when you when you get somebody that shows that they're interested and then they fall off, if they got 4000 people on their friends list, you've got 4000 more people to work with. Any one of you who walks up to me and tells me you can't find people to talk to. I'll, I'll roll my eyes. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but there's so many people to talk to. And then the last one of this group is existing networkers. Um, if you see people that are, if you, in your, in, in your, when you're talking to people from other countries and they, and you ask, I ask them, do you know any networkers now? And they'll say, yeah, I got, I, I, oh yeah, my buddy's a big networker and such and such. Well, let me just, give me his, give me his contact, you know? And the same thing with him. I'll tell you in, in Africa, in South America, in Asia, in Eastern Europe, most network marketers do the one thing I don't pre that I don't believe in. They build but build network marketing companies with three or four companies. Now it's a guaranteed way to fail in my book, but they do it. So if they're going to do it, what I try to do is I tell them, "Are you interested in, a, in another income stream?" If they say yes and they tell me they're already with two other companies, I'm okay with that because I know once I get them on board. And they see what we're doing for, the, for them as far as our services, as far as our training, as far as our leadership. I know they're not getting that wherever they are. I know it. So eventually, even though they were two or three others before, eventually they're going to be with us because I'm that arrogant that I believe that our team is better than their team. Okay. So um, again, so th there's so many ways to prospect. Um, and they're going to, again, they're going to learn that we have better service, better training, better comp plan. Our comp plan, when most companies, most people see our, our comp plan versus other companies, they, they don't even, 
I lost people to it because they thought it was a scam because they thought, thought it was too good, <laughs> you know? And uh, so again, it's a fantastic comp plan. Now, here's, I'm just about through here. There's a couple last things. I want you to remember this. This has nothing to do with what I've been talking about other than in, in our company, the way our company's comp plan is set up. If you have, if you sign up one affiliate, you enroll one affiliate, and that affiliate goes on and becomes a superstar. And say they're making $10,000 a month in binary. You, because you got them in, because you helped them, because you mentored them, because you, all the stuff you did, the company believes you should get something. And that leadership check match to, to you for somebody you signed up is 30%. So if he's making $10,000, you're making $3,000 off that person. And I could tell you stories about people that left the companies, the company that could be making you know, $3 million a year right now that just left too soon. But that's what happens if you have one affiliate with our company. Now, if you have three affiliates if, and you focus the rest of your career, if you get three affiliates that are serious, hardworking, coachable, if you spend the rest of your career helping them grow, building them, if you find more people yourself, don't sign them up yourself. Sign them up under them. Show the loyalty that, that you want from them. You've got to show that loyalty first to them, okay? You, you, ha you help those three people become wealthy in this business. And guess what? You will become a super affiliate. Now, you take that one step further. If you have find five affiliates that are serious about this business and being, doing it internationally, maybe you have one in Ukraine, maybe you have one in Thailand, maybe you have one in Kenya, Maybe you have one in, in Africa, I mean, in the United States, maybe you have one in Colombia, okay? And, they, and you help them all grow by what, what I've showed you tonight, okay? You make those five people wealthy and you will be a master affiliate, okay? Because the way it works in our company, once you get to that master affiliate level, no more than 20% of the volume can come from any one person. So that means, no, means you have to have five, but you get those five people and you help them become wealthy and help them become uh, uh, a uh, super affiliate and you will be a master affiliate, okay? When you look at it that way, yes, it's a hard thing to do and we have yet to have a master affiliate. But if you look at it that way and you focus on my job for the rest of my career is to make five people incredibly wealthy, it's gonna benefit you. And when you have those five people and they know that you're focusing entirely on helping those five people succeed who would who wouldn't want that who wouldn't want somebody like a lennon ledbetter or a chris bailey or myself as their mentor with the full focus on making them wealthy how many people do you, any of you have in your back that's spending all their time thinking about helping you become wealthy this is this is unheard of this is and so by helping other people to succeed I will automatically succeed. If Chris helps other people to succeed, he will automatically succeed. Lennon's done it for years and years and years, and you can see how well it helped him succeed. So, so find your five serious people from all over the world. Spend the rest of your career making them wealthy. You automatically succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Focus on them, not yourself. And you will become the, the, the best possible person you can be from a wealth standpoint, and you'll be proud of, the, of what you've done. When I lay my head on the pillow for the last time in my life, knowing I've helped people around the world succeed beyond their, their wildest imaginations, I can, go, I can go quietly into that night and be happy with what I've done. So having said all that, back to you, Chris. Okay, Dan.